My name is Sam Peters. I'm comprehensively great looking, a natural blonde, and a highly intelligent one. I'm extremely tough, an exceptional journalist, and I hate modesty. I work for Uncharted. It's basically Playboy for although sometimes they're hairy even for my taste. My latest trip took me to Indonesia, where local archaeologists had discovered an ancient temple complex in the jungle. Team members were disappearing one after another without trace. Turns out, it was terrorists. They kidnapped me. Then my old friend Max- Oh, and a volcano has now erupted and half of the island is in flames. I have no idea where Max is now, and I'm not going looking for him in this inferno. Anyway, it's supposed to be the man who goes through flames for the woman, and not the other way around. My task is clear. I have to escape from this island and bring help from the mainland. Done it. Now let's hightail it out of here. Crap. This inflatable dinghy is missing some... Uh, inflation. Reminds me of my last relationship. So how am I supposed to get to the mainland now? Definitely passed its sell-by date as a food source. I don't like to admit it, but this rock's just too big for me. There's a note inside. There's a note in there's a note inside the bottle. A completely typical Indonesian mer locked. Maybe I can get it open some other way. My goodness. Max and his weakness for fancy locking mechanisms. Interesting mechanism. I'm sure that by Hope all the trouble's been worth it. Boots and socks. A satellite phone. <sighs> Damn blow up boats. There's no air in the front chain. A stripped down air pump. Putting all the parts together shouldn't be too much trouble for a genius such as myself.
fresh rubber boots maybe now the Shards are lucky. What am I supposed to do? Blow it out? Volcano's out of control. Whatever it is I'm doing here, let's do it. Nah, not interesting in the slightest. I'll just take the one bone. No man is so great that a woman will go back into hell for him. And Max isn't all that much. Please don't talk to me. I don't care what your name is. You're just a simple thorn bush, aren't you? I can't trans. Talk about that first. The conversation will go like this. No. I'll jam the crab claw onto the end. The bone is stuck fast. They're too big for me anyway. I'll cut a piece of rubber out. I'll jam the piece of rubber between the claws. Like roasting marshmallows. You have to know when enough's enough. Melted enough? For your information, ignoramus, to filthy damp places, soft rubber, stick it. Kicking only works with cars. And men. That would be a job of Sisyphean magnitude, so long as we still... This boat, it was in a consider. Let's clean away this grease and sand.
perfect. Let's get this dinghy back on the high seas. Now I can get out of here at last. I haven't phoned in for days. My editor will be going loopy. Home at last. First, I'm gonna treat myself to a drink. And then I will listen to the 25 messages my charming editor has left for me. He sounds a bit miffed because I've only just got back from Indonesia. My excuses had better wait. He's already got a new job lined up for me. Oh, it's an important one by the sounds of it. Could be big for the magazine. I'd better not waste any time. Sure, a girl like me can find a new job really fast, but it still sounds like hassle I don't need. I'd best take the next flight to Berlin. I need to meet up with a Professor Hartman. He heads up a research group at Humboldt University, and our magazine is one of the sponsors of his Africa expedition. It seems that our professor is hot on the trail of some scientific sensation out there. <laughs> How often have I heard that shit? The sensation is usually some frothy bullshit that we can't even use to fill the summer news gap. Anyway, I'm clinging on to this job which means I'm headed out to Africa with the professor at the next opportunity. I don't know exactly where we're going, so anything could be in store. And that is exactly what I love about this damn job. The Biological Institute. This is where I'm supposed to meet Professor Hartman. Yes, can I help you? Hello, my name is Peters. I've got an appointment with Professor Hartman. I'm sorry, but he's no longer in the building. What? But he wanted to meet me here this evening. According to our database, the Professor is away on an expedition. He's already set off? But I was supposed to be going with him. Yes, well, not every department of this facility is as efficiently organized as the security department is. Shit. My boss is gonna go bananas when he finds out I've missed this shot. What am I supposed to do now? Can you hear me? Yes. Do you know exactly when the professor jilted me? Just a second. It looks like it was this morning. Do you know where the professor was headed? No, but you could ask his secretary. Great. Where is she? Uh, Frau Muller has already left for the weekend. She'll be back Monday morning. Have you got her home number? We do. But I couldn't possibly give out private staff details to members of the public. Be patient, and come back Monday. Patience is definitely not an option. No professor, no story. I need to find him as fast as I can. If I only knew where he was headed. Now I'm really in a jam. Could you perhaps pop along to Professor Hartman's office and see if he's left a note for me? If he had left you a note, then it would be here at reception, I'm sure. Does Professor Hartman have a cell number by any chance? Eh, doesn't look like it. We only have his office number here. Could you perhaps imagine letting me into his office for just a mo? If you'd like to know precisely, no, not my wildest dream. But I wish you a refreshing, stress-free weekend. Same to you. With bells on. Looks like I'm gonna have to help myself. No gate stopped me before. I need to get into the professor's office to find out where he's gone. If I mess up this assignment, then that's my job out the window. No. Without a very, very good reason, I am not going to touch that. No. Without... No. Without a vi
I know Berlin punks are finding new body parts to punch holes in every day, but I think we've some- Oh, though, with that security camera there, perhaps I could upload the result to you- I've just about got everything- Not a good idea messing about with the camera. There's a notice from garbage collection stuck on the letterbox. The waste paper collection's been and gone. The first accessory for my sailboat. Nah, pushing empty trash cans is way below my preferred difficulty level. I can't expect any help from the doorman. I'll have to find out for myself where Professor Hartman's gone off to. Just this once. Where is it supposed to go? Sounds like a good plan. If I throw the carpet over the metal spikes, I could climb over easily enough. But then I'd be in full view of the security camera and the doorman would spot me. I need to find a better... and find Professor Hartman's office. Damn, the clamp is solid. That's what comes from leaving your tools lying around. The perfect entry assistance. Low walls, okay. Two stories? Uh, nope. Whoever said size doesn't matter was covering something up. This ladder in the... Waltz into the building through the main entrance? The, there's gotta be some more subtle way in there.
I've already cleared it out. Who needs a bolt cutter when head shears can do the job just as well? Unfolded, the ladder is certainly long enough, but it's too flimsy to put weight on. I'll push the rake through the rungs of both of the ladder's legs. Still too unsteady. The rake could slip out from between the rungs if I climbed up it. Now let's see what's in it. I never actually have a lot of cat. I always keep it. Globetrotters like my humble self. into the tree with four screws. Nothing's gonna happen without some tools. Too big for the small screws. Freedom for garden hoses. I'll tie the rake to the garden hose so that the whole thing becomes a bit more steady. That is a sturdy ladder. What? Climbing through windows. Real cat burglar me. And look, the coast is clear. use. No dough, no go. And there it is, the exception. <laughs> Empty files, useless. Sir Hartman's office won't open. Doesn't fit. Not Professor Hartman's office. Not Professor Hartman's office. Sir Hartman's office. This old trick might actually work. Or then again, maybe not. The idea's right, but the plastic money didn't take the strain. Once, I'll take a bag of crackers. My snack? And one cent change.
A one cent coin is thin enough to unscrew it. Amaze balls. Ugh, I have. That'll work. I'll bet my sailboat on it. Phew. Okay, Sam. Find the damn info on where our perfidious professor's gone off to. And then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your story, a pay rise, and that nice little sailboat you're dreaming of. A stack of homework, botany books, and writing materials. Hmm, there's some torn up paper on the top. I'll take a closer look. A ripped up fax. Now let's see if I can put this back together. His expedition party sent him a fax. They've discovered some hitherto unknown species. Great, but where, for heaven's sake? Unfortunately, there's only a code here. GHN7531. But maybe that'll help me further. <laughs> Professor Hartman's expedition is coded GHN7531. Professor Hartman's expedition is coded GHN. This file is marked GHN 7520 to GHN 7535. It ought to contain notes from the current expedition. Professor Hartman's expedition is coded GHN. I don't think that these books are going to help me further in any kind of way. Bingo. GHN7531. The expedition has gone to Ghana, to Lake Vosomtui. Lake Vosomtui lies in the meteorite crater in Ghana's Ashanti region. It's 8 kilometers in diameter, about 80 meters deep, and doesn't have the ecosystem and the lake are endemic. The priority is investigating the effects on the ecosystem of a massive meteorite strike. Hmm, what's that on the facts? The expedition has discovered some previously unknown organism. If the story is big enough to pull the professor away with such short notice, perhaps it's big enough to buy me a boat. Let's hit the trail for Ghana and Lake Basumtui. The flight to Accra via Amsterdam was pretty fuss-free. But the in-flight food was crappy, as expected. I was able to revive myself with some traditional foo-foo and a few Gordon Sparks in a chop shop before a bush pilot flew me into an airfield by Lake Basomtui. With a bit of luck, I'll be at the